Hi, uh, I'm Kamran Yusuf from Storage Made Easy, and here I'm going to give you a brief overview of what Storage Made Easy does, what features it has, and then I'm going to show you a demo uh, where we did integration with the Swift Stack, LDAP, and Storage Made Easy for uh, a single sign-on. So, so, what is Storage Made Easy? We provide an appliance that you can deploy in your own data center or on any hypervisor or infrastructure as a service and connect multiple different storages. Those storages, they can be Amazon S3, it can be OpenStack, uh, Swift, it can be Google Storage, and we provide you with a unified view. You can integrate with Active Directory or LDAP, where the users, they will be logging in using uh, Active Directory or LDAP credentials. Uh, users, you can create uh, shared folders, you can give permissions, we can get permissions from uh, LDAP, and the users, they can access their, uh, the, their files from the desktop using our native uh, clients, or they can access them from the mobile devices, and we support all the mobile devices, be it be iOS, Android, Blackberry, or Windows uh, phone. Uh, then we have value-added features, where every access is audited. You can, you can download the audits, who accessed what file, who updated the file, uh, who deleted the file, and all that kind of stuff. If you want to encrypt data, you can also encrypt data at rest. You can set a key phrase so it never leaves your appliance. And uh, uh, it's uh, encrypted using AES 256-bit at rest. Uh, uh, when you are doing uh, file sharing, you can set up permissions uh, and policies that how many times the user can download the file. Uh, is it password protected? Can it be accessed from just a certain IP address? And the, this, this is the list of all the providers that we support and more. So you'll see that almost all the providers that are available, uh, storages, uh, be they c uh, cloud storages or your internal storages like SIF, SAN, or NAS, you can all combine them together and give a unified view to the users. And the end user, that's the view he will be seeing. That's just a web browser, but he will be seeing the same view uh, in uh, his uh, Windows Explorer uh, as a drive or in Finder on OS, or he can mount those folders on Linux also. So the users, they can access those files using multiple channels. So file manager, uh, mobile tablets, and uh, uh, native desktop tools. We also integrate with uh, Apache Solar. So all the content, if it's in OpenStack, or it can be, uh, it can be the contents, they can be indexed, and the users, they can do a search on those uh, uh, contents. Or they can also add meta, meta tags that will be uh, that can also be searched. Okay, so I've gone through that quickly. So now I'm going to move to the demo. Let's close this. So here. For Open, OpenStack Swift, I am using uh, Swift Stack. And the reason I'm using Swift Stack is that it's much easier to deploy, and it provides you with a few middlewares that you can use. It's just one-click deployment. And two of the middlewares that I want to mention that we have integrated uh, with is, one is that Swift Stack provides you with an LDAP, uh, just like Keystone or SW Auth, it provides you with a middleware to do the authentication against LDAP. So here, I have set up uh, my uh, LDAP server. I've given uh, the search DN and all that kind of stuff. Now, <clears throat> another middleware that I want to mention is Swift Undelete. And we have tightly integrated with Swift Undelete also. The Swift Undelete middleware 
whenever a user deletes any file, that file will not be deleted from, uh, on Swift, but it will be put into a separate container where only the admin, he can delete that file. So if you, have to, if you want to recover the file, you can recover that file. And it's pretty configurable. You can set up that, okay, after how much time the deleted file will stay in a Swift. Now, I will move to uh, Storage Made Easy. And in Storage Made Easy, just like Swift, you can also add multiple authentication systems. So here, I've added the same LDAP server from which I can import different users and they will be authenticated uh, against LDAP. And also, we have done tighter integration with the Swift stack. So now you can specify that, okay, whenever a user logs in, I want to do auto-provisioning rather than for the administrator to go to, uh, to, uh, go to Swift, create an account for him, and uh, he logs in. So here what we are saying is that whenever a user logs into SME, that's the authentication URL. Go, go to that URL. I want to use native OpenStack versioning. So whenever a, file is, uh, a new file is uploaded, keep the old versions up to a certain point, which we manage. We are also saying that whenever a file is deleted, don't delete it, put it into a separate container, which is again managed by the undelete uh, middleware and also c uh, create a container and uh, just uh, some bookkeeping stuff that what should be the bucket co uh, the container called and what should be the user login now i can go to the users and i'll say that okay i want to import some users Just do to us Tokyo. And here I'm querying. And I already created some users. So now I've queried LDAP and I said, okay, I want to import some users. If I want to get the roles from LDAP, I can also do that or I can do that automatically. Now I'll just import one user. Okay. So the user is imported. And everything I'm showing here, it can be done through the API. So if you want to automate the provisioning, you have a provisioning system, you can use the API and uh, import the users uh, uh, using the APIs. So it's all automatic. You don't have to use the user interface. Now, the user I imported was OS Tokyo 1. So now if I sign in, it's waiting. Okay, so now if I go to the file manager, I should automatically see that a container is created for him, which is his home directory and he can start using the system. So that's what, what we configured at home and call his uh, home directory by his username. Now I will log into uh, the Swift stack. Uh, they provide a nice user interface where you can see the containers for different users. OS. Okay, so here we have created the containers for him, and now through SME, I will just drop a file and a screenshot. So it's getting uploaded there.
and we should see the same files here. Here we go. And but this is more a developer friendly user interface, but with SME now the user he can he can create shared folders, he can do all his kind of uh, anything he wants to do. But that's not the only access mechanism. Now here, if I go to Windows, again the same user, Tokyo. And this is Windows. I can log in, so it's going to Active Directory or uh, logging in the user. He can see all his files. So, here. And now, if I go to Explorer. Again, he can just work with OpenStack just like you're working with your share or uh, mounted drives. Then, again, uh, we, as I mentioned, we also provide uh, uh, for all the mobile uh, devices, clients. That's Android, but I'm just running it in a simulator. So let me just refresh this. Okay. Unfortunately, I have to refresh it just to get it quickly. Okay. So on Android also, you can access. So what we have done is using SME as the gateway, we, have, we are using LDAP as a common authentication mechanism that Storage Made Easy appliance, uh, Storage Made Easy uses, and also OpenStack uses, OpenStack Swift. We are authenticating, passing the authentication to OpenStack uh, Swift, and then accessing the storage and doing automatic provisioning also. And uh, you can also access from all the uh, for business users, they can do sharing. You can create shared folders, uh, do the groups that will map to SME roles, uh, give them permissions, read write permissions. So we just make it more business friendly and accessible through multiple uh, uh, multi multiple uh, channels, and also make it uh, uh, easy to use and with fully ordered controls. So. I think I'll finish quite quickly if anyone has any questions or anything. Any questions? All right, guys, thank you.